I'm Jed Carlson, CEO of AdWorks, and I'm sitting here today with Big Rossi, who is uh, one of the premier edutainers and a real estate agent by trade. Um, and I want to thank you for coming and sitting down with me today. Oh, it's my pleasure you were talking to be earlier here. And, and you said something that really struck a chord with me, and that was that the sort of the currency for real estate agents in the past was information, and that the fact that they controlled information and buyers and sellers needed information about a house or about an area, they had to go through the real estate agent to get it. And, and when you were talking about how that's changed with technology, that information is now free, it dawned on me as you were saying some things that, that the currency today really, I think, is confidence. And so this idea, you talk about inviting people into the conversation, when I think about the agents that have been referred to me or the ones uh, that, that if I ask myself who would I work with if I were selling my house, it really comes down to the ones for which I have confidence that they are excellent at their job, that they can sell my house properly, that they can show up properly, that they, that they can be aligned with me on what I want out of it. So uh, more than just awareness of them, there's sort of this confidence in them. And I think what that might be or ha have led to is the sort of the agents that are top of mind and that, that get it and that are sort of everywhere in your neighborhood. They're the, they're the yards, the for sale sign you see pretty much every time someone sells a house, that generates more business. And so there's sort of a uh, success begets success, confidence and success begets success. Is that, do you share that view? Is confidence a factor um, in how people choose a real estate agent today? Is that somehow related to some of the things you've talked about, about inviting people in the conversation and um, you know, winning, winning business, not through a hard sell process, but um, you said they're looking for someone to take them through the process. You know, they're looking for, they're looking for a Sherpa that can take them through, right? That can, Good so, analogy. So, so when I'm looking for a Sherpa, I want the one that gives me the most confidence that I'm gonna scale the mountain safely. Is that, am I, am I on something there? Yes, but let me ask okay. you a question to kind of help me with my answer, yeah. if I may. Uh, Sherpas are easily identifiable. Mm -hmm. It's the way they dress, it's where they live, and sure. it's who they are. How do, you, I, how do you, as a consumer, identify confidence in an individual? So I think for me, when I think about the real estate agents that, that come to top of mind now, the confidence comes from uh, a variety of things. One, they're sort of the market validation. I just, they're the signs I see around my Got neighborhood. It. So it, there's, it's clear that other people trust them. Um, and this is no different, that's sort of the offline version of uh, you know, a Yelp rating for a restaurant or a, you know, a star rating for a product on Amazon. That might be the, uh, that's a confidence builder, a review. Um, I might actually call my neighbor who worked with that agent and say, did they actually deliver for you? Should I be confident in them? And that's the referral piece. And I think also when it comes to um, these agents, it's where I see them, where I counter, encounter them naturally about town, and this is obviously might lead back to what AdWorks does and why we believe in the product, but how, how often when I'm having a real estate moment that they're present in it, whether I've invited them in or they've invited me in, where, how often I'm encountering them gives me confidence that, they're, that they take their business seriously, that, um, that they're excellent at what they do. Does that frame it a little bit better for you? What, what you just said, what you just framed is I wish every real estate agent in the world could hear. I believe exactly as you believe, and even in that order, that you kind of look at uh, market proof. Um, have I seen their signs? Uh, are, they, are, they, are they known already? Right. Um, not just known to me, but known to others. And then calling and looking for the referral. I'm really big right now on, on the rating system of real estate agents. I don't, go to a hotel that has one star. Right. I don't eat at the old one and a half star restaurants. Right. I look for the ratings. Today, we as consumers want validation of our choice. So much of what you are saying is, I'm going to make a choice, let me seek out some validation of right. the choice so that I have. So important that you're confident in There them. are some yeah. agents out there they work for great companies, they have great presence, but they are not personally confident of their own ability. Their ability to use technology to help 
the buyers buy and the sellers sell. Mm -hmm. That's one of the jobs that I do is help improve that confidence level in them. It's also in the way somebody walks, in the way they hold themselves, in the way they breathe lets you know if someone is confident or not. It's the way they shake it's their that hand. personal presence that someone has. Uh, when George Clooney comes into a room, everybody knows he's there because he's confident. Right. You're confident that he's confident. He has a track record. He's validated his presence. How do you do that in real estate? It's become more difficult to do that. It used to be easier.